Hi, it's Ms. Dolores from Baldwin Borough Public Library. I'm just here to talk to you for a few minutes and then show you a tutorial on how you can download a really important app for an active reading program that we currently have at our library. It is called 1000 Books Before Kindergarten and the goal of the program is to have read a thousand books um, to your child before they enter the doors of kindergarten. Um, and since we can't be at the library right now, um, and we all are at home more, I thought the app might be beneficial to you. So I'll be showing you that in a few minutes. Um, but before that, um, I just wanted to show you that if you uh, currently were in this program or are in this program, you can certainly continue your reading on the app or if you have your folder at home, you can continue on your folder. So this is the uh, physical folder that we normally give at the library, but we're not there yet, um, and we can't wait till that day comes. So um, kids earn prizes for every 100 books that are read to them. And like I said, you can just keep track on your app, and then when we are reopen again, you can just bring your app in, show us what you're read, and your children will receive um, stickers and prizes. So there are lots of things like cool placemats. There are tote bags. There are free books. There's a really cute um, Eric Carle growth chart. And then for every 100 books they read, they earn a sticker until they get to 1,000. We also give them a cool car with their name on that they can put on the wall once we're back and you can put that up on the wall. And then when they complete the program, they get a really cool certificate, um, their picture taken and a post that is shared with a 1,000 books before kindergarten um, foundation page, and they normally share our post um, on their page as well. So um, research has shown that this program is so beneficial to have read that amount of books to a child, and it does sound overwhelming, but it is, um, if you read one book a day, that would be 365 in a year, and 1,095 in three years. So conceivably, if you read one book a day, um, it would take you three years time. But I know so many of you are so interested um, in reading to your children and do read to your children multiple times a day. And you could just keep track um, very simply. This is not um, a program where you need to write down the titles of books or say you forgot a book and it's too complicated. So this tutorial on this app will show you how quick it is to add a book. And also the kids really get a kick out of um, just pressing the buttons on the app and adding a book and having it uh, compare to the book that you just read. It pops up a picture for you. So let me go through this tutorial for you. So I'm going to walk you through how to download um, the 1000 Books Before Kindergarten app and also just a few features contained within the app. So you're going to want to go to your app store on your phone or your device and just um, download the 1000 Books Before Kindergarten app that you see here. I already have it downloaded so you can go ahead and download it and then it's going to want you to open it. Um, you're going to be a new user so you're going to want to um, register. So just your name and your email, I believe is all they need. So we're going to go ahead and open it. And as you can see, I'm going to go to my account. It's just my name um, and the zip code. So since I got this account, we have moved our library. So I'm going to change this right here and put our new library zip code in and hit update account. So you can make changes um, right within, which is really nice. 
Um, you can also change your password or you can sign out. So um, the next button to the left is the about screen and it tells you um, what I mentioned in the video about how to participate, the program overview, um, and such about the 1000 Books Before Kindergarten program. The next button to the left is um, your um, library. Well, it's the library that's on the app, but it's where you can draw from for books that you uh, might have read. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, and then the first button that you will see is your readers. So this is where you're, you will add your children. Um, as you can see, I have three readers listed here. Um, Baldwin Reader, Baldwin Reader A, and Baldwin Reader B. So let's say you read a book and you um, finish the book. So you hit finished a book. And it says, which book did you read? So you want to type in, I have read, let's say, Goodnight Moon. And there it is, it pops up. You just click on it. It says, did you finish this book? And you hit yes, and your book was marked red. And as you can see, Baldwin Reader B, when I go to the reading list, it takes a few seconds to load. Um, Baldwin Reader B has read Goodnight Moon three times and has also read another book. So the nice feature about this is some kids and mostly all kids like to read uh, their favorites over and over again. And the good news is that you can add them over and over again. So that's a really nice feature and it's already added. It stays in your library. And when you go back to reader on the right side, it shows you the Baldwin Reader has read three books. Baldwin Reader A hasn't read any yet. Baldwin Reader B has read four. So the nice, another nice feature about this is that um, not all your kids may read the same books at the same time. So you can customize it uh, for your individual children. Um, so that's a really nice feature as well. And honestly, that is all you need to do. It's that simple. Um, it just keep track and you don't have to, you know, handwrite anything or remember what the book title was or anything. You could just do it um, at night uh, before you go to bed and the kids get a kick out of just uh, doing this with you. And the nice feature, like I mentioned in the video, is it pops up the book cover and so you can match it with the book that you just read and that's a really um, nice feature as well. So I hope that you have enjoyed this and that you have been doing well, that you are safe um, and, and home and, and just doing good. I know several of you do have um, jobs that take you out of the home and we have been thinking about your safety and, and all of that. And we really look forward to the day when we could be together again back at the library. So I hope you have a really nice day. All right, I will talk to you soon. Oh, and a big plug. Tomorrow um, at 7 p.m., we begin our bedtime online story time. So um, you can just uh, follow us on any of our social media. So you can just head to our Facebook page and it will be on there, everything that you need to know. Um, so I hope to see you online tomorrow at 7 p.m. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.